Hi, my name's Jim Carosa. I'm a professor at the University of Massachusetts Amherst in the United States uh, of America. And I'm a member of the Scientific Advisory Board for IMDEA Networks, and I'm also a trustee for IMDEA Networks. I'm very happy to be here and be able to say a couple of words about IMDEA and how far it's come in such a short period of time. So let me begin by talking a little bit about just the internet and networks in general and the great impact that they've had in our lives. Probably many people who are watching this video don't realize this, but the internet as we know it was transferred from being a research artifact to a publicly available network less than 20 years ago today. And there's just been a huge amount of change in the transition from a scientific network to a a network that's now used by many billions of people as part of their everyday lives. So certainly the internet has changed how we interact with each other, how we communicate with each other, how, we, how, we, uh, how businesses operate and businesses operate with each other. It's really changed some of the social fabric and the way that people communicate with each other uh, both politically and socially. And, and then finally, it, it's really fundamentally changed how business, uh, how, how business is operating now also. So there have been many, many ways in which the internet has impacted many, many aspects of our daily lives. I wanted to say a couple words also about IMDEA and the quality of the research that goes on here in IMDEA networks. One of the things that has really drawn me in to being active in the IMDEA Networks community is really the super high quality of the work that goes on here. If you look at traditional measures of you know, scholarly productivity and quality, the numbers of publications, the competitive grants that researchers here at IMDEA Networks have gotten, uh, the leading roles they've taken in scientific societies is really just incredibly impressive. Uh, I think uh, Arturo, Albert, and the others have done a great job in putting IMDEA networks really on the map. People all across the globe know about IMDEA networks. If you're a networking researcher, you just know about IMDEA networks. And it's really impressive to me that in just four or five uh, short years that, that IMDEA has become a place, the science that goes on here, the research that goes on here, the engineering that goes on here, is something that researchers across the world are really knowledgeable about. I'd also like to say that I think the three principal topics, the research, the broad research areas that uh, the IMDEA researchers in IMDEA networks have chosen are really, really well chosen. Let me start with the first, wireless networks. This has really been a core strength of IMDEA networks. And wireless and mobile communication is becoming more and more important. There are actually more wireless points now connected to the internet than there are wired points connected to the internet. And when the internet was first invented, some of the early architectural designs for the internet, there were not even mobile devices now. So one of the really active areas for research has to do with how do you build a network, the protocols, the rules for communicating within the network, the architecture, the overall framework for the network when devices are inherently mobile and communicate over wireless. And IMDEA has really taken a lead in, in wireless networking research across Europe and indeed in the globe. I love some of the work that people have done here in multi-antenna systems in multiple access protocols and encoding for wireless networks. The second area that IMDEA has been working on, IMDEA Networks has been working on, is a little bit more recent, but certainly equally important. That has to do with energy efficiency. So energy efficiency in ICT is a relatively new area uh, for research, but again, this is an area where IMDEA Networks has taken a lead. They've hosted one of the major conferences in the area of energy efficiency for ICT systems and have published some really marvelous papers here. And they're seen as the, the front end of a leading wave of research that's happening really ac across the globe in this area. And then the final area that I wanted to say a few words about is network science and algorithms. And again, another area that IMDEA Networks has specialized in. Now, when I say networks and probably most of what you would hear as you uh, walk around the halls here at IMDEA Networks has to do with communication networks like the internet, like a mobile cellular network. 
And, and certainly, as I've already just, uh, mentioned, the MDA researchers have taken a lead in, in both wired and wireless communication networks. But I would say over the past four or five years, an area known as network science has begun to evolve in the scientific community. And certainly, communication networks are one type of network. But there are also transportation networks. There are social networks. For instance, if you look at the interconnected set of people uh, in Facebook and Twitter and who talks to who and who listens to who, uh, that's actually another network. Almost exactly in parallel to a communication network where routers and computers all talk to each other. In a social network, people talk to each other. In the human body, protein signaling networks, for instance, how one cell can influence another cell by communicating through protein structures that move through the body is another example of a signaling network. And there's lots of interesting mathematics for the modeling and to understand how communication how information flows between entities within a general network, whether it's a transportation network, a communication network, a protein signaling network, or a social network. And one can make some very interesting statements about fundamentally how hard communication is, how long it takes to communicate in a network like that. And again, it's another example of fundamental science and the application of really good fundamental research um, that goes on here at MDEA.